It's June the 20th, the longest day of 2010. Looking west. In the background, you can hear the traffic on the number 11 highway between Regina and Saskatoon. And that is Tregarva, Saskatchewan. According to E.T. Russell in his book, What's in a Name, at its height, that little place had three elevators, a lumber yard, a Massey Harris implement dealer, a little hotel, a couple of stores, including a co-op store. The last elevator, I think a pool, came down no, oh, five years ago. It's built on what the CP called its Bouillet branch. They came through here in 1910 on their way to Last Mountain Lake in north. This is looking north up the Tregarva grid road. Tregarva is apparently named for a character in a British novel of the late 1800s. First post office was established February 1st, 1885, in the home of J.E. Petrie, an early pioneer. And there was a post office in this area. Of course, it moved in to Tregarva when the railroad came through. Looking southeast. Along the line of the railway, armor is down there where the steel, Regina steel plant is. Now owned by Evraz, looking south down the Tregarva grid and around. Looking west. Traffic is louder than the birds at 11 o'clock in the morning. Looking northwest along the line that CP laid in in 1910, and Bouillet Branch. Tregarva Station would have been right in here. Initially, CP didn't drop off a station, just laid in a portable one about 1914, but soon got upgraded. Elevators would have been along here. There's some Ipsco and Evraz scrap cars. And looking southeast back towards Armour Junction and Regina. This is the main street of Tregarva. Where the lumber yards were, the Massey Harris dealership, not a trace. Two livery stables. You have to look at aerial photographs to try and find, determine where they were. Looking at northwest out of Tregarva, Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. The back side of Tregarva. Old post office since 1970. Picked your mail up in Regina, I guess. CP Communications Tower. And a couple of sightings. 